ladies. These ladies have been these three ladies have been running around in the in the courtyard here for hours now, and they are just having a grand time. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a little friend. I have a little praying mantis hanging out behind me. So obviously it's going to be a really special day. Today's the day we're trying to get my flower situation situated. I have flowers everywhere. Um, let me just kind of show you what we're working with here. I'm going to show you a couple key areas of my island that I really would like to get taken care of. I'm not sure if it's going to happen today, but we're going to work on it together. So uh, this is my flower garden. This is where I'm trying to keep all of my flowers. I, I'm not the best at hybrids and uh, I get distracted easily. So I, I kind of forget to uh, nurture those and and try to make that happen. But for the most part, I think I have all the flowers except for like gold roses. Um, but I do have blue roses now, finally. And uh, they are thriving. It makes me very excited to see them. And you can kind of tell some of my favorites, obviously, are the blue roses because they're new and I've never had them before, like relatively new. I think I've had these now for a couple months, but it's fun for me to see them. I do love me some purple hyacinths and I love the green mums. So you're going to see a lot of that. Now, let me show you a few areas of my island that I'd like to get under control, um, probably starting with my my garden that I have here. As you can see, it's a little outside the realm that I've deemed the the flower bed. So I I would like to get that under control. And then also things have just started to get wild. I have all of these flowers everywhere. Initially, I wanted some flowers here looking down onto my forced perspective lighthouse set up and, and and things kind of got out of control. I probably put a few roses here um, at one point in time. Uh, this whole area was filled in. So I'm, I think I had some sort of garden happening here. Um, and so I've just kind of planted things. I put one blue rose here because I, I wanted more to happen. This is what happens. Um, I will. Oh, my controller has drift. That's great. Thank you. The, the good old uh, Zelda controller. Can you see that? The Zelda controller. It, it got the drift now. Oh, a honeybee. I love the honeybees. Oh, look at him. Look at that little guy. Oh, my goodness. This palm tree. Oh, oh, he flew through my eye. Did you see that? OK, I'm distracted. I'm probably going to cut that out. Don't worry. That's kind of my problem is I will plant, for example, I planted one blue rose here. It's been raining on Plumera for a solid week now. Um, and so now we have two blue roses and, you know, that's just kind of what happens. I plant one or two flowers somewhere and then this happens, although I think this was on purpose. I think I did that on purpose. Um, and I did this on purpose. This is Turtle Bay. I don't talk much about Turtle Bay. It was one of the first things that I built. Um, every single snapping turtle, except for the first one, because our firstborn always goes to Blathers, has gone into either Turtle Bay or some other spot in my island. I don't have the heart to sell them because I, I love turtles. They're one of my favorite animals ever, and I just couldn't part with them. So this is Turtle Bay. This is where all my turtles hang out. I love them. Turtles are bay. I wish there were turtle villagers that would just I would have a whole island full of turtles. Back to my flower problem. As you can see, they're everywhere. I don't even think I need to point my problems out because you can see them. This is out of control. Again, I I probably planted like one or two things here. And then this just happened and it took over. Um, I keep going back and forth in my mind about flattening my island and starting over. But there's areas of my island I really like and I don't want to flatten it. Um, but I just this is just a big giant rectangle to me. And I'm not sure if I like it. Um, I also wanted to place my house up on that ridge there where the flower garden is because I want to overlook the secret beach. 
Uh, same thing over here. I had this great idea that I was going to make a midnight garden and make it all spooky because I was like, well, one day, one day Katrina is going to join the island, obviously. And I would very much like to have a place for her to be. And this was going to be like her little section of the wood. I was going to have like a little haunted area. And that just, it just never happened. We never got Katrina. I'm not complaining. This isn't a complaint video. Ooh, a balloon. Oh, I can't help myself. Got a really cool chair this morning while I was prepping. Um, so that was exciting. Let's see what we got now. A book. We got a book. Okay, well, you know, that's useful. Oh, and let's not forget my beach where I just kind of put everything. So that's another problem. Oh no, Jeremiah has a flea. Oh no, my little buddy. There you go, bud. There we go. Jeremiah's all better. Um, yeah, so let's not forget my beaches are a problem because I just started putting flowers everywhere. Um, and then, you know, this is starting to get out of control, too. We have the yellow mums everywhere. And, you know, I don't mind so much behind the houses. It's fine. Like, I'm not going to put anything there. Nothing can go there. Another th area that got a little out of control is right here. This used to just be a walkway <laughs> and now, uh, you know, what used to just be a, a nice little flower bed right here has has turned into green mum acres, which is fine. I think they're beautiful. I love them. I have a hard time getting rid of them. But today's the day we have to we just have to take care of the situation. It's just too much. And there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Like I look, look at this. Look at look at this. I was trying to make purple hyacinths. This is what the remnants of that looks like. I just I, I can't be trusted. Look, it's happening over here, too. Look at all these flowers. I have a problem. Somebody send help. Oh, and Flick's here. So that's exciting. I need to get some models made. I've been saving up some snails because it's been raining and I do love a, a good snail model. Like I can't build areas because I just have too many flowers like this this up top this yellow section used to be like four flowers it used to look like this but now everything looks like this so we just we got some work to do i can't build anything because everything is full of flowers and it's just ridiculous that i've let it get out of hand like this it's very irresponsible of me let's hop into my problem i think i want to start with cleaning up at least the beaches. We're going to start with the beaches. We're going to see how far we get. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It, we got a lot to do. So let's just let's see what we can do today. Maybe this is a series about this is like it's like hoarders. This is like flower edition. I'm going to try to catch whatever this is. Hopefully it's not a sucker fish. I've been having some better luck with the with the fin fish. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Oh, look, there she blows. It's a big one. A whale shark. Yay. I like that. I like the whale sharks. They're fun. I caught a great white last night and I was like, holy cow, look at that. Mr. Krabs is here. He's hanging out. He's having a good time. He makes me happy. I love seeing him. All right, let's stop messing around here. Let's go get my handy dandy trash can and let's let's just start fixing our problem. Oh, I just thought of something. Here's the real problem of why I probably have let this get so out of hand. The fact that I'm going to need a shovel, which means I'm going to be building shovels all day. I wish that we didn't have to remake our tools. I wish our tools did not break. If you saw my last video where I was doing retro crossing, our tools don't break there. And I remember I had some nostalgia that I really loved doing stuff in the first game because I could fish all day and be a happy camper because my tools didn't break. It just it just doesn't appeal to me that these things have a shelf life. There is like one cicada that I do not have and I'm determined to find it. All right, let's get the garbage can. Let's figure this out. Oh, is that the one I don't have? Oh, it's cicada season. I've never seen a cicada in person. But yes, we don't we don't have the cicadas out here in California, so. Handy dandy trash can, let's go get it. Da, 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 da. Dee, doo, dee. Let's clean up the beaches first. We're gonna do the beaches first because that should be easy, right? Like, ooh, some shell, hello. So I'm gonna pop my garbage can over here and I'm just gonna start tossing flowers. This is gonna be really interesting with my uh, drift on this controller as well as trying to, to shovel. 
And once I get all these flowers off the beach, I don't really have a plan about what I want to do with this section. It's more just I want there to be less flowers just everywhere is really what I'm going for here. <laughs> because with there being so many flowers on my island, it's it's really hard to just kind of place things because these flowers are just everywhere. Uh, this. Drift is hard to uh, battle against right now. I don't have another controller at the moment, so we're just going to work with it. It's okay. It's just an extra challenge today. This uh, coconut has been on my beach for like a year. I guess I'll pick it up now. Today's the day. Today's the day that we pick up things that we've been laying around for a year. Yep. You know, it added to the aesthetic. It was on purpose that way. It was beach aesthetic. Oh, that feels so much better already. Just having this little area clear just is so much nicer now. OK, cool. So let's go up to the next little area that I want to tackle, which isn't that far away. I think it's realistically, I think it's like this little spot. Oh, here's Leopold. Oh, he's painting. So, yeah, I think the next area that I want to tackle is here and just kind of get rid of I just want to I want this like most of this area clear. I I know there's flowers right here. I don't really care because I can't see them. I would like to keep these. I would like to get rid of all of these because it's just too much. There's too many. They're in the way. So let's pop our handy dandy trash can down and uh, let's start clearing this area. Now, the question is, is now that I am clearing these sections, like what am I going to put here? And the, the answer to that is I have no idea. I actually don't have any major uh, plans Oh, this drift. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I don't have any major build plans. Um, I do want to move some things around my island. Um, I'm trying to figure out a better place to put my house right now. I do have it on the beach and I like how it looks. I, I want it closer to the secret beach and I feel like having my house in the back of the island is fine. It's just I find that it's really hard to keep up with my villagers that live on the back of the island. So I do like this idea of like a neighborhood area, maybe not super clustered together, but just close enough that I see my villagers on a regular basis. I know if I just made the effort, I could see them every day, um, but it's just a little hard. I mostly play late at night, and so a lot of the times my villagers are asleep and I'm just doing my daily chores. So if I run into them, I speak to them. But you know, that's realistically, that was probably the first time I've seen Leopold in like three weeks just because I, I never see him or uh, it was bound to happen. I miss out. Oh, look at that precious boy. Look at him sitting there reading a book. I have so many shells on my beach. That's just too much. I have too much of everything. That's my problem. I have I have the too much gene when it comes to all the things. <laughs> uh, let's build another shovel. I don't have enough wood for that. Uh, Alrighty, so let's tackle this area here and I think I could get this whole place clear. I think I like the idea of it being empty or at least I would want something different there, like different flowers. I'm not sure if the lilies are what I absolutely want here. Um, I do like how these look behind me where I have the white roses, the yellow mums and the white hyacinths. I like that mix of flowers. Um, I think that down here, it just became a hodgepodge. Like I even like the yellow flowers above me, the yellow and the whites, just like all the different types of yellow and white flowers together. I might just replant this full of flowers. I would just like it to be more aesthetically pleasing. I have a couple bushes and things in my inventory, uh, so I might plant some bushes here. The drift on my controller is making it so difficult to dig these up. So I don't know how much patience I have to uh... see. I'm not even I'm not even not even touching it, not even touching anything, but it just walks right to the beach. All right, that looks so much better, so much cleaner. Like I said, I'll probably put more flowers here um, just probably something that's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than just a hodgepodge of flowers. Um, I think that the next area that I want to do is the area that I walk by the most 
often and just think to myself, like, I need to do something about this area. And that is my little spooky, spooky flower garden up here. I don't even know where these guys came from. I think I might have just planted like two here and then this happened because that's, you know, that's how that goes. Um, but I want to take care of this area. This is where Eric lives. I would much rather have it be more to uh, Eric's aesthetic, if anything. So right now, Eric has more of like the red and the white flowers around his area. Um, so I'll probably want to carry that through. So we luckily we do have some red roses here. I do have some white hyacinths there, so I might want to just repurpose those for now. I know that he has, I think those are the wind flowers. Yeah, those are the wind flowers that he has um, behind me. The black and the purple and the fortune teller booth, you know, it's just when if if Katrina ever comes, we can talk about it. But for right now, it's just not it's just not meant to be. So we're going to clean this area up. My controller has drift and it's making it really hard for me to do anything. Okay, small update on my drift problem. I unplugged it and plugged it back in and it seems to be working properly. So uh, kids, when in doubt, always replug your items, always restart your electronics, uh, but it seems to be working. And we are almost done clearing this little section here. Um, so I'm keeping this red wind flower. I'm also keeping the red roses that were here. I can probably pick this guy up now. Oh, there's two things. Okay, luckily I have enough room for that. Uh, but this looks so much better already. I'm feeling so much more better about it. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and grab some of these white hyacinths. All right, there we go. And, you know, there's nothing to say that, you know, in a few weeks that this whole area is not going to be full of red and white flowers but at least it's more aesthetically pleasing and it matches Eric's yard a little bit better I think what I want to do is I'll probably dwarf some trees and put them through here um, and then that way we have a little bit more uh, woodland to work with as well and maybe some bushes I might put some um, shrub fencing up maybe uh, just something that you know makes this look more a part of Eric's yard than just some abandoned piece of land. So I think maybe putting some trees here would be really nice. So I think I'm going to just make a couple holes to remind myself to do that. And we'll see if I can get some trees in here. And I think that would look really nice just to start with. All right. So this is our updated area. I went ahead and let's pick up our trash can. Um, I went ahead and finished our path going this way. We put a red and a white rose there. So I'm, I'm liking this area quite a bit more now. It looks a lot more natural, a lot more complete. And yeah, it's looking real, real good. I'm glad that I'm doing this today and doing a little bit of cleanup. I think that the next area and probably the last area that I'm going to tackle today is this area right here my my pirate's bay I think that there is some stuff in here that you know looks really good I, I love I love all this stuff down here and maybe I can rearrange our bamboo to make a little bit more sense but with all these flowers here it's just a little too much and I think I want to close up this little waterfall area that's right here at least the pond below it's not very useful I do like the waterfall part but it's not really serving much of a purpose so to do that let's just put on our handy dandy island designer cap all right there we go I mean we still have a waterfall it's just not going into a pool which is fine we don't need that um, and then that will allow me to finish off this path it's just a little it's just a little wonky right there let me see if I can uh, do some quick fixing there we go that looks a little bit better there's still kind of a hard corner there but that's okay um, and then let's pop our trash can down and start taking care of a lot of these flowers that are down here my cat has come to play she is now here to help us with the uh, flower sorting so don't mind her tail this is how we play the game. Thank you, Ruby. Oh, you're so helpful. Yes. Um, okay, so since Ruby's joined us, we've gotten most of the flowers cleared out in this area, and I'm leaving the purple ones. I think that I want to 
uh, keep those. Maybe the darker flowers go in Pirate's Cove. It seems a little appropriate. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Oh, yes. Let's find a good spot so that I can game and you can hang out. She's licking my thumb. This is, <laughs> this is not gonna, this is not, you're not helping me. Okay, so I want to move these out of the way. And then um, maybe just for now, I'll put one here and I'll put one just kind of like right there. Because I kind of want... I don't really have a plan. I was thinking of having more stalls and loft beds and decorating the area that way. So that's a possibility. I think that just for now, I want to kind of clear the area a little bit. And maybe I want to plant the bamboos through like here and then have this whole area opened up maybe or maybe I'll have two here and two in the back uh, but either way we need to get some fruit really quick um, oh and here's some fruit now all right so I know for sure I want to move these two because they're just kind of in the way um, I think it would be really nice if I could put one really close to the statue of David so he's just kind of hidden behind a tree so let's dig around and see where I can put some of these Oh, don't mind me. That was just Ruby stepping on the mouse, uh, turning off my my stream. I'm just going to move the mouse out of the way, you know, because we have to have room for Ruby on my desk. OK, you go help me. Oh, you got your fur all over my straw of my wand there. <laughs> OK, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. Um, I owe her lunch in about 30 minutes, so it's not that she's wanting to hang out with me, it's that she is letting me know. And we lost another shovel. All right, well, let's, let's go build another shovel. Okay, so I moved the bamboo a little bit further away from the wall. I'm not super excited about this placement. I'm a little happier with it now than I was before. Four, like how it was before. Um, so this opened up this whole area right here and this would give me plenty of room to do those shop stalls if I choose to do those, um, which means I would need to start ordering pieces. But I do like the idea of having something that kind of resembles a pirate cove or, you know, Red's art gallery, something like that. And, you know, just some pieces that would come from Red's boat to make it look like this is kind of his area um, and then mix it up with the things that we get from Gulliver. Um, let me pick up my trash can because it's not aesthetically pleasing. But I think that we did pretty good here today. We went through two shovels. Uh, well, more like one and a half shovels, right? Um, and we did a lot of cleanup. I think this looks really good from up here. I like the bamboo. I like how that looks. I went back and forth with using, wanting to use palm trees or not, but I feel like I have a lot of palm trees on my beach already and I didn't necessarily want to have more, but I love how far we've come in this amount of time. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, ha I'm happy that there's progress, that I'm seeing things change. We have a lot to go. Um, let me know what you think of, of this. Do you want to see me do uh, cleanups on my island? Is this something that is interesting to you? I like seeing people in their process of building. So it's always inspiring to see how things come together and not be overly planned and not be overly uh, produced. So I'm, I'm so happy my beach is clear. I can't tell you the last time my beaches were clear. This is so exciting. Look at that. Look at all that sand I have in these areas here. But we're going to keep chipping away at it so that I can start building things that I want to build and move things around on my island because as it is, it's a little hard to do right now uh, with everything overly floral. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.